So in this program, what we're going to do is rename some files within a folder. Uh, so what we're looking at now is my desktop. I have a folder here called Rename These Items, and I want to rename the items within this folder. So let's take a look at what's inside here. We've got these images, and we've got these file names, and all of these file names happen to have these numbers in front of them. So our goal is to remove these numbers. Um, and if we were to do this manually, it would be pretty tedious because we have a ton of files here. So the goal of this program is to simplify uh, the problem that we'd like to solve and go ahead and rename every single one of these files. Once all of these files are renamed, there'll be a secret message that's revealed to us. So we want to find out what that message is. So how do we write this program? Let's go to our corkboard. So I know that I want to build this program inside of Python. That's the first sticky. Second, I know I want to get the names of the files. So we'll have to get the file names from the directory. And third, we want to rename those files. And remember, we just we want to remove those numbers so we can reveal the secret message. And finally, Hey, we just want to check to see if our program worked. So let's jump right in and build this program. Here I am in, uh, in Python through Idle, and I've already started this program by adding comments up top that describe what the program will do. And then I've added comments 1 and 2 that give us the major components of what we need to make this program go. So in number 1, it says get file names from a folder. So I know I'll need to define uh, a function that will do this for us. So let's uh, define rename files as our function. Um, the next thing uh, I know that I'll need to do is we'll want to uh, go into the, the directory of where this file is located. Um, so I happen to know the path since I'm on a Mac, uh, but the first thing we'll need to do is declare a variable for that path. So in this case, it will be file list, file underscore list equals OS dot list directory uh, or list DIR. Um, and basically uh, what's happening here is we're opening up this file path uh, it's on my desktop and I know that it's in this folder called rename these items um, so what do we do after we we locate um, this file path uh, in in this case I'm just gonna print just so I see the activity so we're gonna print the file list um, and then after that we'll want to actually save uh, what we've done here. So we'll, we'll create uh, something called saved underscore path and uh, equals os dot get c w d and uh, we we want to see where we saved this. So uh, I'm I'm going to print that location by saying uh, current working directory is and then we'll see the saved path um, and. Because uh, the previous uh, functions up top, will, they're really just seeing our folder, uh, our, our main location, which is the desktop. Uh, it's not actually going to go into the rename these items section. What we'll need to do is we'll have to change the directory. And here's how we do that. We'll uh, just call the function os.chdir and we're pointing to uh, that folder rename these items okay so now we want some form of a loop uh, that will actually read these files and uh, since there's so many of them we'll have to put them in a, in a loop uh, and, and then we'll, we'll want to rename those files within the loop uh, so the first thing we'll do here is we'll create a for loop and in that for loop we'll say for file underscore name 
in file list remember we declared um, we already declared file list up top here uh, so now our program knows what file list is and uh, within the, uh, the for loop we'll have to indent here oh, that's too much indenting let me see here Th that's about right so we'll say os.rename and uh, we're, we're going to pass two items here. So we'll say file underscore name. So that's going to be the old path. And we're going to give it a new uh, name. And how are we going to do that? We're going to say file underscore name dot L strip. And we're basically removing any numbers that are located within the file uh, by, by calling that function. Um, after that, uh, we're going to uh, go into, hold on here, get the spacing right, os.chdir, uh, which is change directory, and then we'll uh, save what we've done after we've removed the numbers. So great, after uh, we've gone through and uh, re renamed all of those files once once there's uh, no more files to change then that's it our for loop is done um, uh, so the very last thing here that we're going to do is uh, just rename underscore files so we have to actually uh, call that function for for this program to work and something else I forgot to do if you notice we've got OS dot change directory os dot change directory os dot rename uh, so we have to actually import os os stands for operating system uh, and then once we do so we're we're pretty much good to go here so let me go ahead and save everything and then I'll hit uh, well before I run it let me just confirm uh, I'll go into rename these items folder and as you can see these files still have numbers on them and once we run this program we'll be able to reveal the secret message so let's give it a shot I'll hit run module and once I do you can see oh wow uh, the program ran everything looks great and let's go back into our folder here and our numbers have been removed however uh, what still has to happen is I need to go uh, into my uh, settings here and clean up by name. Once I do that, then we can see our secret message. And it says, keys are in the closet behind the shoebox. And we solved our problem, and that's how you rename files on your computer.